Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. This is Amber and I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed week. Thank you all so much for joining me here on the channel. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so that you are constantly notified when new content is added to this channel weekly. The first dream that I will be sharing with you today was emailed in by our brother in Christ, Dan, where he shares with us a very vivid and detailed dream about the end times. And in Dan's email, it says, Hello, Band of Believers. This is your brother in Christ, Dan, and I want to share with you a dream that I had last night on Wednesday, August 31st of 2022. I woke up at exactly 3.30 a.m. wondering and thought, wait, did this just happen? I of course came to my senses and realized it was just a detailed and vivid dream. My dream took place around 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And in my dream, all of the power had suddenly went out. And I mean all power as in cell phones as well. At this point, all of the neighbors had decided to meet in the street, some with flashlights and others with candles. Then all of a sudden, one of the neighbors had a battery crank AM FM radio, and we were tuning in to see what was happening when all of a sudden we had heard an announcement. The announcement had stated that an Asian country had invaded through Canada and both coastlines all at once. We all knew that it was an EMP that was knocking out all of the communications. Then after this, everything became complete chaos. We then began to hear the explosions and saw the flashes from far away. We then decided to organize together our weapons and headed back into our homes. As we stepped into our home after this, it was as if everything had simply stopped and we simply vanished. After this dream, my wife and I had stumbled upon a movie and within the movie, three times the conversation was about September. Two of the characters then said, let's make up a code word to escape and leave. What was the code word of all of the words? Potato famine. Revelation 19, seven through 10. Let us rejoice and be glad and give the glory to him for the marriage of the lamb has come and his bride had made herself ready. And it was given to her to clothe herself in fine linen, bright and clean, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. And he said to me, Write, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true words of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said to me, do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours and your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. May God be glorified. Let's go home from your brother in Christ, Dan. Thank you so much, Dan, for sharing this very vivid and descriptive dream about the end times. It is definitely urgent as well as a warning. We are so close to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. dream that I am going to be sharing with you today was emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Juanita. And the dream that she had shook her to the core that she really wanted to share this dream with each and every one of you. 
and in her email it says Dear Amber, thank you so much for your channel and your website. I love all the articles you post and the videos you create for brothers and sisters in Christ. You really do then justice and depict it so well. I wanted to share the stream I recently had in January of 2022. It shook me so hard I knew that I had to write it down before I went on with my day. It is the one that has stuck with me and I can even now play it in my head as though I am still there. All the emotions especially. In my dream it started off with my family and I as it was summertime. We lived in a beautiful house up on a hill over the Columbia River George. It was the 4th of July and it seemed in my dream as if it was dusk and it turned dark very fast. You can see from all around, fireworks were going off everywhere. I personally live in a small town along the Columbia River George area, fairly close to the mountains, but far enough away to see them at a distance to feel safe. The landscape was totally different than what I am used to geographically. I was with family and we went from the house and were all of a sudden headed toward the festivities along the river front. We were riding in a really big truck which seemed like a red Ford F-250 or an extended cab truck. On the main drag down by the river, everything looked like so much fun and seemed great once we arrived. But then all of a sudden, chaos broke out and I looked to my right and started shouting, Oh no, St. Helens is erupting. It was the worst volcano eruption I had ever seen. The whole mountain had blown and lava was shooting straight up vertical and was being spewed right into the air. It was so violent and so scary, I didn't even see the smoke, just the lava. On the main street where we were, the traffic became so bad. All the cars were getting in wrecks and some were trying to drive over each other, but somehow managed to veer away from trouble. At one point, we stopped and got out of the truck. I then looked up and saw these beautiful lights in the sky and they spelled out this amazing saying of Yeshua is here. I lit up being so overjoyed and started lifting up my hands and shouting, Jesus, yes, Jesus, Yeshua. An angel came to me in a bright white glowing robe. I took the angel's hand and thought of my friend just before any of this happened, of how it was to be so soon. As I was being lifted up, I told my family looking down, accept Jesus, follow the Bible, don't take the mark, and be prepared to give your lives for it, and I will see you soon. Then I flew up so fast yet so sad to leave them behind, but so excited to be with Jesus, then I was technically gone. The scene then shifted and I was on earth with family and we fought to get back home and things became more crazy and more violent. Driving through town just heading up to the hill were people that were in mass hysteria, being violent towards one another, fighting, pickpocketing, doing that to their neighbors, screaming and running around looking so helpless. Then all of a sudden, a huge rock from the volcano shot out and landed close on this massive spiral bridge in front of us. We were far enough away to see it and were not harmed. The whole thing had just collapsed, yet somehow we saw that there was just enough of an opening to get through the wreckage. As we approached the house coming up to the top of the hill, we knew somehow we would be safe there, but wasn't sure how long.
As we gathered inside there was this incredibly somber feeling inside. It was as if all hope was lost and there was nothing to do but survive. Then all of a sudden, I woke up. I truly believe in my spirit that Jesus is coming so soon and it grieves me to think anyone would have to be left behind, including family and young people. I pray those who do not know Jesus will long to know him, especially right here with everything that is going on throughout the world. Thank you again for your channel. I pray that you will be blessed with everything you need to continue doing this amazing work you are doing for the kingdom of God. Blessings to you and your family. Thanks for your consideration. Your sister in Christ, Juanita. Thank you so much, Juanita, for emailing in this very detailed and urgent dream to the channel. I am happy that I was able to bring your experience to life and to share it with our brothers and sisters in Christ here on the channel. If you can find it in your heart and would like to help and support Cloud9 Blessings, it would be so greatly appreciated. I am a single mom and do the narrating and editing here on the channel by myself. It does take many hours to create the videos here on the channel and your support will help continuing the creation of content here on this channel as well as the experiences emailed in from brothers and sisters all around the world. Thank you all so much and God bless you all.